Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessOfTrader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. So I'm, I'm a huge Yankee fan, really, really, really big Yankee fan. One of my favorite old school Yankees, obviously I wasn't around uh, to see him uh, or to see him play, was Yogi Berra, right? Yogi Berra, there's something called the Yogi-isms, right? One of his favorite sayings, one of my favorite sayings of his was, it's deja vu all over again, right? It's one of the greatest Yogi-isms uh, out there. So here we are again. Okay, so look at the, look at the numbers today on the scoreboard. Uh, Dow down 400. That's not really a big deal. Okay, um, the Nasdaq you know had a great great run, right? Weakness into the close. That's not what sticks out. We gave back yesterday's gains. Uh, that's not what really sticks out. What really sticks out was what the market did today in between the lines, right? Uh, we saw very, very aggressive strength in the morning, followed by very, very aggressive initial rug pulls, only to go back to the high the, or close to the highs of the day, and only to get a very, very aggressive rug pull right back into the close. And what threw me off was yesterday's session. If you guys remember, I couldn't get to, I, I couldn't wrap my brain around why the market, I was waiting for that rug pull pretty much the whole day. I couldn't get my mind wrapped around the idea that it just wasn't happening. Now, of course, we had some aggressive pulls yesterday in certain names. Sure, that was fine, but the overall market wasn't getting a pull. And I started talking about it um, you know, yesterday in the afternoon and this morning uh, at Morning Strategy. And I kept on saying, maybe we're just one day away. It just didn't make sense why we had this inverted hammer, uh, obviously the same thing as, as last couple of times with, with major pulls, and today we didn't. So maybe there was just something there that the market just couldn't digest for us to get that pull yesterday. So when you look at the action today, and we'll get into the pivots in a second, we had some very, very aggressive pivots, um, but we're kind of where we were a couple of days ago, right? Inverted hammer, inverted hammer again inverted hammer and this time this inverted hammer closed below the Bollinger Band and as Yogi said again it's deja vu all over again and when I went through the charts today uh, after the close I saw airlines breaking down uh, cruise ships breaking down the stocks that put up very very aggressive moves today that either got upgraded or the price target upgraded app Apple uh, Nvidia um, Netflix, for example, very, very big moves, aggressive moves, aggressive, aggressive pivots. They sold off very, very sharply in the morning. Stocks like Boeing that we saw ridiculous option flow yesterday, uh, the 190, the 195, the 200, the 210, the 220 calls, 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 calls. Stock broke a very, very big level today, at least a short term level. We'll talk about that in a second and, and started getting hit. Names like Tesla, again, monster, monster run. And again, when you look at, you know, when you look at the call buying just from the last, you know, 24 hours, 1,500 calls, this, and you start to say to yourself, how late are these guys to the party? You know, Tesla was, you know, 900 bucks five days ago. Okay, you're talking about a 530 point rally in five days, and now they're putting on calls? I mean, what's going on there? But again, that's not here, not there. Um, so we started seeing a lot of similarities, and I just kind of want to show you an example. So NVIDIA gets upgraded today, right? Big, big pivot here in the morning. Again, for all you guys uh, who caught this great job. So big, big pivot in the morning, and then slowly but surely had that first initial bounce off rise in support and sold off, you know, sold off about, you know, about eight bucks into the close. Apple, same thing, got upgraded today. The price target, something, something happened, okay? Very, very aggressive pivot today. Uh, ran up to about $379 and sold off about $6 into the close. You had Amazon. Again, you can make, an, you know, you can make a really, really uh, pretty simplistic argument that, well, you know, it's gravity, right? Amazon, this monster run, this is just gravity. It's taking a rest. Okay, I get it. 
Tesla, the same thing. You know, you can make a, you know, you can make, um, you know, you can make a, an absolute comment, an absolute argument. Look, I just had a big run up. Uh, look at the move. You know, look at the move. It just, it just is kind of resting before it goes higher. Again, these are all valid points of uh, points of argument. But then you start looking at the overall macro market. Now, again, I understand that a lot of traders, especially new traders, they believe that they're doing something right right now. Uh, the, the buy here, sell higher strategy, it's working right now. I get it, right? I get it. Uh, you know, Tesla was 900 five days ago. You needed to buy the stock at 1420 today. You needed to, right? You absolutely needed to. So the, 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 the buy anywhere, sell higher strategy, I get it's working. But when you start looking at when you start looking at the macro picture of names that also had big runs, right? Maybe not as as, as aggressive as maybe the high flying tech stocks, but also had big big runs. Well, they're starting to get softer, and, and they're not getting softer just one day. They stopped rallying, and all those industries that were halted, literally halted. Uh, by the coronavirus, they're slowly but surely either about to break down or starting to break down. So when you look at the groups, for example, uh, like a CCL, right? CCL today, uh, first close below the 50-day moving average. You start looking at the airlines, just an example, uh, 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 American Airlines, right? American Airlines first close below the 50-day the moving average. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you're talking about almost two weeks worth of distribution finally broke below. Again, you know, th these, are, these are determining factors how you start looking at the macro market. And again, you could turn around and say, well, Dan, what's, when do you start looking at the airlines? When am I starting looking at the cruise ships? Why do they matter? For me, they don't matter. Right. For, for me, they absolutely don't matter. But if my names stop going up, right, or at least stop going up on an interval and the whole macro market, the market that was actually halted by the economic impact of COVID, if they start rolling down, then eventually you have to ask your question is the stocks that had this monster, monster moves. Are they going to pull up all these airline shippers, hotels that got decimated in real life? OK. Or are these airline shippers and hotels that got decimated in real life going to finally pull down, right? All these stocks have the euphoric runs. Again, we don't know, okay? This is what we all talk about, uh, making choices, doing our due diligence, doing our research. We don't know. We have an opinion, but we don't know. Just like the other day, I was 99% sell bias going into yesterday's day. Again, it didn't cost me money because I was wrong. It just, I was wrong in my opinion. But so again, Having an opinion matters. Having uh, an educated brain as an adult matters. You can't, you can't just wake up in the morning, look at the pre-market high list or look at the pre-market low list and start your day there. Okay, that's too late. Okay, that's well too late. You have to go through a lot of charts to make sure, again, macro-wise, again, even if it doesn't affect your specific sweet spot, at least you have an understanding which way the wind is blowing. So if you have all these names already had their big moves, okay, and they started getting rejected at supply and you started seeing lower highs, lower highs, lower highs, the question is, is this deja vu all over again? Is this finally uh, the scenario that's going to play out for tomorrow that we talked about two days ago? Okay, was I a day early in my in my uh, in my thesis again we don't know but again we have to have an opinion to put ourselves in a position to make sure hey by the way again this could be on the table for tomorrow and when you start looking at all these channels for potential breakdowns you kind of see what I'm talking about here you know Tesla really great trade today really really great pull today there was a forty dollar pull okay not four forty dollar pull today uh, I caught about seventeen and change on this thing. But again, it has so much room to go if it starts again, talking about taking out macro, macro channels. If you look at Amazon, again, had a big, big run up, right? And today it broke down this channel. And if it confirms tomorrow, there's at least 70 to 80 points of downside. Again, we're just preparing. We don't want to freak anybody out. You know, last time around, you know, when I said 99 sell, how can you be sell by we're in a bear market? Okay, I, I trade day to day. Okay, I'm not trying to predict what's going to happen three weeks from now. Like somebody asked me, uh, two days ago. Where do you think the queue's going to go next week? Okay. Day to day, right? Day to day. In this type of environment, we don't have the luxury to kind of sit back, put our feet up, a drink, you know, drink a, a cocktail and say, well, this is the market's going to do something tomorrow. The market's completely random. The market's completely unpredictable. This is not your, your father's or grandfather's market. You can sit down here, uh, talk about a bias three weeks from now, three months from now, three years from now. We're day to day, man. These, these cases of Corona, they're going up. The hospital visits, 
Uh, they're going up, the ICU visits, they're going up. But again, for now, people are getting used to it. This is starting to become day-to-day -day life. So eventually, either everybody gets COVID, right? Everybody gets COVID or everybody just learns to deal with it. I get it. Okay, I get it. I'm not naive. So something has to give. But again, in the real world, in the macro world, we need signs. We need clues. So again, kind of going into tomorrow, again, I have to be sell by. So there are they... Are there situations that I do like to the long side? Yeah, I like a few, right? I like a few, not to the point of uh, putting themselves on a watch list for tomorrow. Like I want to see Tesla gap up tomorrow. I want to see uh, Amazon gap them up tomorrow because if they do start putting in lower highs off macro channels into the 60 minute supply, then I know if they start confirming today's price action, there's a high probability things go lower. So again, you have to have an opinion, okay? Anybody who walks into tomorrow you know, eyes closed, ears shut, without an opinion, again, you're clueless. You are, and again, I hate using the word sheep, so I don't want to use the word sheep, but you, you are behind the eight ball. You are the person who is relying on 20,000 other people's opinions to figure out what your next move is. Any intelligent, at least halfway intelligent trader is doing the work tonight. You know, we're going to be prepared for tomorrow. But in case we are wrong, right, and the market continues to do its George Costanza dance of, you know, of craziness, we obviously have some opinions and obviously some bias to some certain names to the upside as well. But again, and again, I really encourage everybody, uh, go through charts today. And you can, you can clearly see just on this today's pivots, some key, some key breakdowns today. Again, it does appear that we are, uh, at least for tomorrow, okay, potentially have a rug pull. Again, is that going to happen? Obviously, again, go back 24 hours from now. We had a 400-point rally. Uh, today, you know, we completely negated that 400-point rally with a 400-point decline. So again, to be determined. But again, it's more important to be prepared and be wrong than to wake up tomorrow, everything is okay, the rose-colored glass is on, and the next thing you know, you have your pants below your ankles. Again, we don't want to be the, per you know, we don't want to be the ones that are doing deep knee bends in a cucumber patch if we don't have to, unless that's your thing. So going into tomorrow again, for now, I'm sell biased. If the market proves me wrong, I will be proved wrong. But the moral of the story is I'd like to be prepared. I want to make sure everybody who at least watching this broadcast at least put it into their uh, mindset that again, that a potential rug pull could be happening just because of what we're seeing uh, in front of us. As far as today goes, uh, incredibly aggressive day. And you know, again, this is the whole point of uh, you know being prepared. You know, being prepared. We had some longs today. We obviously had some shorts today. Some really aggressive moves. And going into tomorrow, obviously, I, again for for today, at least I will be sell buys for the first you know hour, hour and a half of the day. Because again, I want the bears to prove me wrong just based on what I'm seeing on tonight's uh, video. So let's talk about this uh, Tesla value to the downside. It was actually the same comments. Uh, to Amazon, but value is to the downside. Watch for second entry, green to red. And what I mean by that is a lot of times when you have this really, really aggressive moves, what they do is they put in initial lows, right? They go red and what they do is they trap, right? They trap the aggressive uh, short sellers uh, in the morning because everybody's looking for this magical reversal. And what they do is usually they take a red and then they take a green again and they rip them, right? They completely rip them. And the second time through, uh, that's when they kill them. That's exactly what we talked about for Tesla. That's exactly what we talked about Amazon. So Tesla, and I, I want to show you, I want to show you where it was. So Tesla goes red in the day, okay? Tesla goes red in the day and it puts in a low of 1370, right? So here's the, you know, here's the second entry, 1370. Uh, line going forward, that's the spot. If it builds below 1370, there's a shot it gets hit. So here is uh, Tesla, right? So it goes red on the day. Okay, goes red on the day, puts in a low right over here, uh, goes back to green, goes up like 15 bucks. The next time through that 1370, just a, a monster move, absolutely monster move. Uh, it went down about 40 points. I caught about 17 of it. So Hey, good move, man. Really, really good move on Tesla. And but but again, before that happened, we saw a lot of really, really good strength uh, to the upside. Uh, Nvidia 397.5398 uh, needs to build. Here was Nvidia. Big move on Nvidia this morning before obviously reversals. Here's the 397.5398 area. Uh, went to like 402-ish. Big big move on Nvidia. And obviously, again, you saw what happened uh, into the close. Uh, Netflix 500 needs to build. I, I kind of thought the first move was going to be to 505. The only reason why um, was it was a 60 minute supply there. And if you could see it, it traded there perfectly. So here's the 500 traded right to supply. Again, remember guys, there's no guarantee 
that supply will ever get confirmed. That's why, again, 90% of the time, if it gets the supply, you have to make sales. Again, nobody, nobody knows what's going to happen after that candle. So 500 went to pretty much a $5 move uh, into supply. Really, really nice move there on Netflix. Um, you know, I was watching Boeing to the, to the upside. Again, all these calls were coming in for the last couple of days. And again, here's the most ironic part. This is what we talk about all the time. We don't need to be uh, painted into a corner. Again, we'll show you that in a second. So I was initially uh, long buy some Boeing, tons of weekly call buying coming on 190, 197, 50, 200 weekly call buyers. Uh, key levels are 89, 50 and 191. It never got there, right? Never got there. There was a pivot, a macro pivot to the downside. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, BYND 140, if it builds below, can flush. That's the five day support. I still like it for tomorrow. So BYND gets below that 140, right? It takes out 140 and puts in a low of 138.50. That will be the line in the sand. It didn't quite break down today, but if it starts com confirming back to the downside tomorrow, I definitely want to keep an eye on that as well. Uh, Apple, again, very, very strong. Apple, 375 uh, was the pre-market high. 376 was, the, was yesterday's uh, high. It needs to build. Apple, again, really nice move here, right? Here's the... Here's the 335. It took out 336 the previous day's high. Uh, went to like 378.60s. And again, you can see how it turned around very, uh, very aggressively. Uh, but a nice move there as well. Again, remember, second entries, no FOMO. Don't anticipate. Wait for confirmation. So again, NVIDIA obviously take on the way up. Uh, Netflix take on the way up. Apple take on the way up. Uh, 1370, again, went down to 1335. Got smashed. Um, like really, really smashed and then recovered very, very aggressively in new highs. Uh, and again, they were, they were, you know, again, they were buying, you know, they were buying for the, those 41750 calls. That's what really sparked the stock. Uh, AAL, right? This is what we just talked about. Any close under $12 could start the next leg up on AAL and da da da. AAL closed under $12, right? Here's what I meant about the 12 bucks. Uh, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, close under 12, first close. Under the 50-day moving average, hey, who knows? It could it could get down under $11 tomorrow. But first close under 12 bucks a share is definitely a sell signal uh, there. Okay, uh, FSLY not a big move. Uh, went, went up about 60, 70 cents, and then kind of crapped out, just like everything else. Uh, apron, listen, this thing goes on a watch list yesterday. Uh, 13 bucks uh, had, had a nice move today. Uh, Netflix never got there, obviously, for the second time. And, you know, here's the couple of pivots into the afternoon, okay? Uh, Amazon, uh, $33,000, $3,009. If it builds below, can flush more. And here was Amazon, right? Here was Amazon right here. Here's the 309, right? So here's the 309. And it took out 309, went all the way down to 29.90. Um, so again, there's another pivot coming up here for tomorrow. $20 candle in Amazon like nothing. And Boeing, you know, 180 has held four times if it builds below can flush, right? So here is 180 uh, macro on Boeing. We, matter of fact, we've been talking about that 180 level a few times in the last, uh, you know, couple of videos. And it finally cracked, right? Here's one, two, three, four days, right? Four days of 180 uh, support. It finally cracked. And if this thing confirms tomorrow, you could see 174 and you could see 168 as well. So, um, yeah, again, look, I am sell bias going into tomorrow. I, I want the bulls to prove me wrong, okay? I'm okay with being wrong, but again, it's all about being prepared, having an opinion, and let that opinion play out. Guys, God bless. I wish everybody the best. Stay healthy. Uh, love yourself. Love your family. Again, there is no do-over, okay? We don't get any mulligans in this life. This is all we got, okay, folks? So have a great life. I uh, love you all, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.